They put ranch on a fucking orange slice? What the fuck? Got it. <laughs> What's up? Today we're going to the worst rated restaurant in my city. Ooh. I called like seven places and it's unfortunate. A lot of businesses have closed, closed since Corona started. So literally every worst rated restaurant in my city is shut down. So we're going to like the seventh worst restaurant in my city. So the worst rated restaurant is actually at the airport, LAX. It's more Ooh. moto skewers. I've been there. It's actually not as bad as people say. It's just outrageously priced because it's at the airport. I have a potato in my pocket. Let's go. Let's read some reviews views from Marsicchio's. Okay, so I'm fucking stupid. It's Marisco's, not Marsicchio's. Service was friendly, Michelada was not bad, but the food was horrible. The chips and salsa watered down, runny, red, salsa, no flavor, salsa, watered down. That just like they repeat themselves seven times saying the salsa was watered down. There's some positive ones too. Great shrimp cocktail, no reason to complain. If it was bland, that's how it's supposed to be. That doesn't make any sense. <laughs> if it's bland, then that's how the food is supposed to be. Do I look good? Yeah. All right, thanks. Always. Bro. All right. <laughs> all right, so we're at Marsicchio's. It's right around the corner from my spot. I see it all the time, and this is like the last place in the world that I've wanted to go, but also I've always wanted to go here just because it's Mexican seafood and it looks crazy. So we just secured the bag from Marsicchio's. The wait was very long, actually. We got our food to go because it was fucking hot and the wait was 20 minutes long. I wanted a beer, but you know, fuck it. We're just gonna eat it on top of my car. Ah, oh, Jesus Christ. It's fucking hot as dick. A point for Marsicchio's though. They do gain one point because the waitress had one of the most gorgeous asses I've ever seen in my life. I swear to God, it was, it was crafted by God's hand with clay. Here's the watery salsa apparently. It actually looks fucking good, so I don't know what these people are talking about. I know people are gonna be pressed because I'm a white boy and of course the white boy ordered two tacos and a burrito and didn't get any of the ceviche. Uh, so here is the asada. Actually looks fucking good. This is the 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 taco goberinator inator. Inator. It's like chipotle sauce, shrimp, uh, some shit. Did like a little blue moon orange slice action. The asada taco I think was two dollars and twenty five cents, which is. It's an okay deal. They give you a lot of meat. I'll let it slide. The taco stand that I go to, it's $1.25. The taco goberinator uh, was $3. And the chicken burrito, the chicken burrito is fucking huge. And this was only five bucks. So that looks like a good deal. I really did not trust, after seeing the reviews, I did not trust the ceviche and the oysters and all the other fucking seafood nonsense. Even though that's like what they're known for, I just, I don't trust it. I don't, I, I was already in the hospital once, twice this month, I don't wanna go again. They put ranch on a fucking orange slice? What the fuck? I gotta try that first. 10 out of 10. The taco goberinator in nature. Um, I don't trust it, but it's not that bad. I actually just, I just like, bro, I can't put that in my body. We got the limes for uh, your eyes before you eat the taco. They got the two shell action packed with meat, all that jazz, small avocado. All right, let's try the asada. First glance, it looks good, but it's kind of bland. Definitely not one of the best tacos I've had but definitely one of the worst. It's just not a good taco, you know? I, I, there's not much to say, it's not a good taco. I am gonna try the salsa, cause that is their claim to fame, the watery salsa. Yo, it's watery, but it's good. I like it. And the salad is a piss poor excuse for a salad. Are you fucking kidding me? Who the hell slices a tomato like that? That's the fucking stem. Why would you slice a tomato like that? That's the last way I would ever think to slice a tomato. And the avocado, not sliced right. Literally bagged lettuce, an orange with ranch on it. I'm just gonna rip it in half, bro, so we can get an inside view. No wonder it's $5. They use canned chicken in a shit ton of fucking rice. They made that for how much? How much do you think they made that for? $2.50. Yeah, it's like two fifty. dollars so they're doubling their profit. Honestly, this one kind of smells like the taco stand. <laughs> the El Tapatio, let's try it. It's just a cheap burrito. It's literally just canned chicken. I like the chicken, not gonna lie. I like the canned chicken. One of my, uh, one, of, one of the taco stands we go to has canned chicken quesadillas, those are gas. This, on the other hand, the rice is very overcooked. It's literally just mush, overcooked rice, 
cheap flour tortilla, canned chicken with barely any pico on the inside. I'm gonna give the burrito a two out of five. I'm gonna give the taco asada uh, a one and a half out of five. I'm gonna give the shrimp one actually a two out of five, even though I don't trust the shrimp. The orange with ranch on it, five out of five. Side salad, zero out of five. The salsa is the key. I don't know what you guys are doing. You're sleeping on the watery salsa. That shit's good. But overall, no, definitely not it. Would not recommend. The only thing I would recommend is going and seeing that phenomenal out of this world ass from the waitress there. I mean, I swear to God, that shit was <laughs> the birds just flew just by. Birds? <laughs> <laughs> if you want me to do more of these videos, comment down below. Let me know. Maybe I'll do like the worst rated fucking bakery or Jamaican food. I don't know. Overall, uh, I will never return ever again to this place. But I'm glad I tried it because now I understand. I've seen this place for six years living in LA and I finally, finally got to try it. And I'm not super happy about it, but... Bro, my God. Anyways, uh, like, comment, share, subscribe, whatever you want to do. Go follow me on Instagram. And uh, yeah, uh, how do you end videos? See you later.